Yeah. I'm sorry. I was talking to. Just fucking go. Stop playing. Stop fucking talking to real people. We're playing D and D. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> yes. So we begin on a dusty path through a dense forest. Whether you were running short on coin and were hoping to find some work, or because of your own per various personal reasons, you decided to head to a small remote mining settlement called Salt Crag. In a span of a few minutes, you all arrive at the town gates and are greeted from afar by a cacophony of voices, shouting over each other and arguing. As you come closer, you see that a large wooden gate is closed, and three guardsmen are blocking the door, trying to hold back a group of about seven people. Behind them is a single horse, two-wheel carriage, with two wounded men laying on it. You can see that one of them is missing an arm below the elbow, and is laying there motionless in a pool of blood, while the other one, leaning with his back on the front of the carriage, is clutching his stomach with both hands with streams of blood flowing between his fingers. The people themselves seem like peasants or lower class citizens, wearing simple if a bit dirty clothes. In the front of the group is an older male gnome in fine clothes, arguing with an irritated guardsman. None of them have noticed you yet, and you can overhear a part of their conversation. The guardsman, staring down at a little gnome in front of him, says in a loud and official manner, You know the rules, sir. I can't open the gates until dawn. The gnome is yelling back at the guard. Are you mad? I told you they were right behind us. We managed to escape just by pure luck. Six others are dead and we have wounded and dying people here. What's more, we lost two carriages of my finest wool and had to drop off the rest to carry those poor bastards. He gestures towards the wounded man. Besides, it's almost dawn anyway, so we'll open up. The guardsman sighs and answers. <sighs> Very well. We will open one side of the gate, but make it quick. If the orcs pursue you here, we will close it shut, no matter if some of you get stuck outside or not. Now, you heard me, man. Open the gate. At this point, as people begin to push towards the gate and make their way inside, the guardsman finally sees you. He glances with distrust and disapproval at the woman with snake-like features and at the bronze-skinned tiefling female. But when he turns and sees the large orc carrying a set of makeshift drums, he immediately lowers his halberd and aims it towards him. He shouts out, They are here! Close the gates! Panic ensues, but all of the people manage to push through before the gate closes. The guardsman carefully approaches the orc, yelling at him, So here you are, you bastards! Came to finish what you started? And where are the rest of you hiding? So, what do you want to do? Do we like discuss as a group or how do we do this? That's too, too many things to remember. That's why I said make notes. <laughs> uh, a guard yeah. is aiming a halberd at you, Lika. Asking yeah, you what the fuck are you doing here? I think Lika she likes to kick this off, I think. I want to. No, he's asking me a question. Yeah, it's fine. I say hold. We come in peace. I bring music. Yay! Am I to believe that? Right after the caravan got ambushed, you just show up sure, here. I can play some notes for you if you want. I'm not interested in orcish chants. It's not a chant, it's art of music. Begun with those lies. Let me just try. Or you want to taste my clubs? You can certainly try, Orc. Meanwhile, Mean Kubi goes to the side, casts her cantrip on the earth, creating a... something that resembles a chair, sits on it, and says... She's in my visa. Wait, give me a second, I'm thinking. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, give me a second. Um, Set a build up and then. Mm, what okay. do I say? Um, I ask the QB. What the no, fuck you are ask you nothing, doing? you give me a second. Um, okay, without any hesitation. And she says, um, I'm not with them. Do as you want. 
<laughs> Did you have that fucking ready? <laughs> yes! <laughs> what? Whoa. I didn't uh, need it. Play it again, I guess. Nah. Uh, but is it like silent? I didn't need it. No, no, I heard it. Okay, okay. So yeah, what now you can do whatever. Uh, Lika, make a persuasion check. No! What? No, you're trying to fucking persuade the dude. I'm not trying to persuade him. You are... I'm trying to show him something. And I cannot roll for showing okay, him. Okay, then. Yes, you can. Roll for performance. Fuck. <laughs> How do I roll for performance? Uh, you roll a d20. Either here, from one of those bags, or you can just click right here, on one of those. And which one is 20 B20? The last one. So that's 11, and add your performance to the final row. Uh, which is in your character sheet that you totally have, right? I have it opened right now. I can hear you clicking. <laughs> I mean, I can check. I have no plus part six. in this. That's what I wanted to say. I have it on plus six and E. That's nice. So, 17. Uh, yeah, one. he's... The guards Halbert kinda lovers for a bit and he's taken aback by your performance. Also nice. question but quickly. He... Yes? Do we know each other already? No. Yes. Um, no. We just happened to pass. You just happened to moment. arrive at around the same time. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Okay. I see the guard 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 is coming down, so I ask him what happened to him. Well, I suppose if you really don't know. These men arrived just mere moments before you. They were ambushed by a tribe of orcs. Most of them were slaughtered. These How last ministers managed to escape. How do you know it was orcs? Well, it's not the first time it happened. Plus, we have eyewitnesses. I didn't know any tribes near. Maybe they were wandering around? Or passing oh, through your no. territory? Those are here to stay. They've been here for the past, uh, what is it, about two, three years. They have no intentions of leaving. I'm sorry for my race, but I'm not part of their community. I came from far lands. That's like <sighs> some fucking nigga shit you say. <laughs> right there's like, we are not all the same. The East Coast, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem... Civilized enough for your folk. I guess don't cause trouble and you may enter. I take that as a compliment. But Thank you. we will keep our eyes on you. Don't try anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to make some coin with my music. Question: Will there be a map? There will be a map. I can't see shit. Like meanwhile, meanwhile like now? this like now? little conversation between the orc and the god is going on. Delania decides to ignore the whole situation, completely abandon everybody, and use the on-screen conversation to use his acrobatics to jump to a nearby tree and <laughs> use the branch to get over the battlements. Fucking hell. Okay, that's nice. Make an acrobatics check. <laughs> so right. you roll a d20. Where do I get one of them fucking things? Uh, either here, on the last row. Or, D20, okay. or you can just roll completely normally. Yeah. I need you here. Uh, in a moment, Lika. So I pass the guard and I tell him. Oh, yeah, by the way, meanwhile, there is a woman. Uh, one, second, mate, one second, mate, one mate, second, one second. One action per time. Yeah. Do, okay. I, do I like roll here or there? Anywhere Any you want. Oh, Doesn't okay. matter. Okay. That's a natural trick. <laughs> And that was my plus five acrobatics. I didn't it doesn't, matter, it matter, doesn't mate. matter, mate. If, if you roll naturals, then it's just it's happens. an automatic success. Yeah. It's a critical success. Okay, cool. If you roll the one, it's a critical failure. 
but and you might explode. Like if you try to stab a fucker <laughs> nah. and you roll a one, you just explode for it's no reason. It's not that extreme, <laughs> but uh, it's yeah, not that extreme, most likely. but it's, it's a huge failure. <laughs> what not? But you that had a extreme. huge success and stalker. What? If you roll a one uh, while trying to stab a dude, you might stab yourself. Something may happen, but not that. We will I wanna see. hear what happens. Shut but up. yes, you <laughs> dexterously and unnoticed by anyone manage to scale a tree and jump over the stone walls surrounding the town. The other, the rest of you, the Can you orc. Can a town? I don't see a town. The, you will Take very chill. Soon. But, like, you have so far no knowledge of the town, but we will get there. Wait, we are not in front of the walls? Yeah, I'm, I'm like the other, on the other side of the walls. And where's the cartsman? Uh, soon, mate, soon. Plus, you don't need a map for everything. I will mostly use them for combat. Of course, man, just do it. Where's the cartsman? Lika, just chill the fuck out. <laughs> As the tiefling and orc enter, and... She passes by, waving at the a guard, saying... Thank you. Whose voice is that? It's it's your mom's mama's mom's voice. <laughs> Oof. She Whose needs to breathe from time to time, so Whose just you know, lift her up. Voice is that? <laughs> Go Some on. trap. Anyway, as Whose you enter, is that? Lika, yours. Lika, so shut it. Are you making fun of me? Uh, yes. Also I'm, shut it. I'm going right next to the tiefling, and I'm. I will step on his her tail. You cannot because that would be meta gaming. But as you enter, you can see a small town made of wooden houses of varying sizes and shapes. Can't see shit. It looks like a lot of them were either rebuilt or expanded over and over with some of the walls being from brand new wood while others are little more than rotting planks. The buildings are also placed haphazardly wherever there was enough room for them so there are no real streets to speak of. The ground is muddy with patches of grass, but here and there you can see what seems like a very old pavement made of chiseled stone. Among the first dwellings on this side of the settlement is a large two-floor, somewhat unstable looking house with a large stone tower-like structure towering above it. There is a sign in front of it that reads, Stone Throat Chimney Inn. Okay, I greet the tiefling and saying, hello. Stalker. The so I think silent. fucking info in Jesus chill. Um, okay. What were you saying? No. Oh yeah. What were you saying? Which you should be taking. I greet the tiefling. And I ask why is she here. <clears throat> Who is uh, al yes, although she heard him clearly. She. Nah, uh, she would kind of speak with you. Uh, you're lucky. Um, otherwise I would just avoid you. Um, <laughs> That's nice. Um, she looks at you and re and replies. I'm just looking for some new clothes to buy in the city. <laughs> okay, mate. So How many? How many do you have prepared Who for this? That? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Crossman is pissing himself. Crossman. Oh my fucking god. Who is that? Are I have serious? no idea. What? Well, uh, after she replied to that big orc, you she can shut the fuck up. It's my action. Immediately. Yes. Accelerated her step. Just don't touch my figurine, motherfucker. Nika, don't. See, it's my text. Fuck, Fuck off. No. Uh, accelerates the path towards the stone something chimney in. Okay. okay. I, sn I make a weird face looking at her, and I think she's retarded and a nigger and a demon, so I don't care about her anymore. <sighs> so, yeah, I Lika. move forward to find a tavern where I can play some music, maybe. Okay, you enter the tavern. Uh, Delania, do you also wish to enter the tavern? 
Delilah, which is the weird circus freaks uh, going about their weird business and decides out of both of them that the orc has some nice pecs, meaning that might have a nice little fat orc cock there, so she enters <laughs> the tavern too. <laughs> okay, as you enter it, the thing is, I will place it in a second. The inn is almost empty, it's early in the morning. Except for one dwarven man sitting in the corner, and the innkeeper, who is already there behind the counter and is cleaning some cups with a rag that is so dirty that it seems almost black. The innkeeper is a large, roughly 50 year old man, wearing an apron covered in soot and bits of food. He has a bushy brown mustache, shouldering unkempt hair, with large bald pat on the top. <laughs> As he looks up to see who entered and sees you, he is caught off guard by your appearance, but only for a moment. A wide, almost toothless smile appears on his face and says, Well, 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 what an unusual band you are. But come in, come in, all are welcome here, as long as they can pay, of course. The name's Edmund, and this here is the Stone Throat Chimney Inn, named after that old dwarven mining vent in the middle of this fine establishment. We remade it into a fireplace years back. But enough about that. Now, how may I help you? So you're strangers. I stopped in the middle of a question because I'm an orc and I don't care about the talking. And I ask him if I can make some coin by making or helping him around the inn. Uh, I mean, sure you can, but as you can see, I only have one patron here now. You could That's... earn a good five silver a day here. That would be nice, thank you. Is there a food and a... Uh, in a house, or a... No, you'll buy me. those. I buy those, okay. Now, okay. as you're strangers... Uh, here, let me describe the area for you a bit. And this is where I pull out the fucking map. <laughs> and yes, it's drawing fucking... It was thrown quickly, okay? It's <laughs> Don't fine, it's me. fine. It's <laughs> fine, man. Also, also, just a uh, suggestion, you could actually, like, place the maps already and then place, like, squares or, or tiles I on know, top mate, of them I know. To, to block. But it slows down the fucking shit so much. That's why I didn't do <laughs> well, it at start. I guess. I have some prepared on them. Okay, in the meantime, I have a conversation with a chick near me. I ask her for her name. Delania turns towards the questionable orc with his weird drums, but oddly sexy muscles. I ask her if she, uh, if she wants to see a turtle. Can I move you for a second? <laughs> uh, wait, which one was this? A weird name for a dick, mate, but whatever. <laughs> Wanna see my uh, turtle? Wait, what do you mean? Cross my, cross my problem. Observe please. magic. What? Magic? What? I, I hear lags. Crossman? There we go. No, it's yeah, happening. he's loading. Yeah, it's he's happening. Loading. It's happening. It's a going. Oh. That looks quite nice. Oh. And also here. Okay. Behind me, kinda. To That's the side. Where we are. There's a map There's of the map area. Of... And where's the inn? The inn is right here, this building. Oof, we were far away. No, you were here. This is where you came from. Um. So you you've entered here basically? No, from Wait, here. Uh, yeah. Yep, from there. Here is the innkeeper and here is a dwarf sitting. And that seems to be the only uh, patron there. Here in the center is a, well, as he said, a dwarven mining vent that was repurposed into a large chimney. And for that chimney, the tavern is named. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so I've continued. <clears throat> so, hello. So, yeah, you, uh, you wanted to s me to see a turtle then? Yeah, I have your pale skin, uh, woman's, like, cute things. So Do you call it a one. turtle? Do you call it a turtle? Because it's so tiny and it only peeks its little head out every now and again. <laughs> Destroyed. No, what do you mean? I don't know. Is this a joke or something? 
Yeah, I mean this turtle. He's not chilly. Look at his little hair. Uh, you see what looks me. like a strange, vaguely turtle-like creature, which is covered in hair and has, for a turtle, unseemingly large claws. The orc has had it on his fucking head the entire time. I use him sometimes as my whip, <sighs> because as you can see, I'm bald. Fuck! <sighs> as, soon, are... as soon as the orc shows the turtle, QB immediately fix... Uh, 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 looks at it, um, jumps happily around, goes towards it and starts patting it. Um, <laughs> Make an animal handling check. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Crossman knows. I don't have to say more. Fuck you, by the is way. Is she a fury? Is she a zoophilia? Um, 20 cross? <laughs> plus one. 20 plus your animal handling. <laughs> My animal handling? I don't think I have even one. <laughs> well... Animal I didn't even know that's a thing. Well, it is. I'll yeah, go for it. plus zero. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It bites oh, Okay. It doesn't bite you, it kinda recoils at your touch, but that is not openly hostile to you. I perceive I that per as the animal being just a tiny bit shy. Say, um, look at it more calmly. Say, um, while replying. <laughs> and, uh, trying to proceed to pet it, trying to pet it again. Okay, this time you managed to pet it. Happily, she jumps in the air, saying, Wee, so cute! And... Yeah. 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 Okay, hearing all this, seeing all this, Delania is extremely confused and feels like she has actually entered into a carnival show. And <laughs> Good call. decides to completely step out of the way, slowly walk behind this weird conversation and approach the uh, pa uh, the owner of the bar with a question. My yes? Name, my name is Delani, uh, and uh, um, for some ever reason you offer that orc some coin if he'd play or do something around your bar, so I kind of overheard that conversation and realized that yeah you don't have that many customers and I was I'm wondering if you'd be willing to pay me coin if I get more patrons going in here well the reason I don't have many patrons right now is because it's fucking dawn everybody is heading to the mines now or to the plantations to work yeah but you must have some kind of need of uh, more souls to the bar every night and after work, you know? I can't imagine your numbers being that good, that you can afford a little coin to get more. That's true, more performance means more coin to me. Exactly, you'll get more... Okay. You'll get more customers, and you'll get more coin to pay him and me, and I'll keep bringing in the new customers. Make, Make a persuasion check. Both of us? <laughs> um... No, Finn with advantage mm -hmm. thanks to Lika helping him. Ooh. So Finn, oh, you roll twice no. and take the higher roll. Alright, two ones incoming. Uh, tw ten, 20? Mm -hmm. That's a 9. No, that, that, oh, that, yeah. that, yeah. that was kind of a, I couldn't get. Spawning, spawning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so eight. eight so. <laughs> and the second one. 20, natural 20. Two. Two. Okay, so yeah. it's eight plus your persuasion. One. So, yeah. Nine. Oof. Okay. Uh, well, I don't really have a need for that, but if you ru truly are looking for some work, you see more the adventurous type, you should go speak to the prefect. Delania thanks her or him for the opportunity still and uh, thanks him for the information as soon as he, she, Sorry, gender confusion. Um, 
she realizes that uh, more work is to be had somewhere more suited to her line of work, she leaves the inn and oh, nice. to wherever the fuck that place is. So, where you're heading is... Actually, let me explain the map to you here, if you can see it. Where? Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Should we so you know entered... Where... Hmm? Should we know where everything is? Uh, as I said, the innkeep explained this shit to you, but I don't wanna talk for 20 oh, minutes, okay. so I just drew a map. Okay. So you entered here by through this gate, uh -huh. headed to the inn, and that's where you are at the moment. Yeah. The prefect, prefect Adrian, lives in a manor here. It's okay. a spice and salt trader that basically runs the entire town. Okay. Down, it's, it's on a small hill, overseeing spice plantations. Down here is a salt mine, and above it is a basically a re I wouldn't call it a refugee camp, camp, but a pretty close one. Yeah, it's like where the poorest workers live in ramshackle tents and uh, hobos. Makeshift, yeah, basically working hobos. <laughs> So that's where they live, it's called Miner's Rest. Out I'll here are some up. grain plantations, and to the left is an old abandoned salt mine. Is there a marketplace? There is uh, one store, which is just a general goods store. A town center? There, again, there are no real streets, as the, build, the buildings were just built haphazardly everywhere. But so, most people gather around the tavern during the evening. Currently, they are all heading to work in the mine or the plantations. Well, right. so like I'm still kind of confused, like where the manor is. Here, yes. right here. Uh, on the on this map, it's somewhere here. Oh, you're putting me here. This way. Yeah. Guys, it's here, not there. We're, we're oh, like, I, I need to go to the next map, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, this map. Mm, salt mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I was kind of explaining. So can I still move there, or...? What yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I... What about the uh, uh, rest of you, guys? I, uh, I tell the innkeeper that I will be back during, uh... Rush hours. Rush hours. And I'm going to visit a plantation with the spice fields. Alright. Um, Kubi? Uh, Kubi leans forward to the innkeeper and asks him if he saw... Um, a, 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 ta um, a male tiefling that is, yeah, a male tiefling, a, chi a child male tiefling. Mm, not in these parts, lass. We're the first tiefling we've seen here in <laughs> over a year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speaking of which, you take the fact that I'm a tiefling very lightly. What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be fucking freaky, man. Do you have a fucking chick there? <laughs> Go on, answer the fucking question. Cheek, hello, cheek. Uh, again, this question, I was more distressed <laughs> by the you voice. You take the I fact that I'm a tiefling person. very lightly. Like, I you don't take it, take it lightly. Yeah, you're lightly. Like, yeah, you're like not surprised at all, whatever. Or frightened, well, or whatever. Not frightened, I had some dealings with your folk in the past. So but yes, you are quite rare. But on your behalf, you would say that this, that the town folk would not treat me wrong. Hello, there. <laughs> okay. Um. Are you coming here often? <laughs> Fuck sake. Well, well, I can't joking. speak for the others. 
you know, your people are still um, hmm, slightly demonic in origin, and some of the folks may not like that, but you won't find any such contempt from me. And he flashes you another toothless smile. <laughs> now, are you buying something? Um... No, thank you, but I would have a look in that interesting old chimney, if you don't mind. I think uh, I sure, go on ahead. I am kind of scared, and... She moves forward <laughs> to the <laughs> chimney, and she... She looks at it. Perception check, please. All right. Fuck. And your perception? Um, uh, my perception. Eh. Uh, yeah. Oh no, that's persuasion. Uh, perception, perception, perception. Eh, zero. All right. So it's a chimney. <laughs> Or well, um, you can clearly see that it was uh, made from, made by dwarves, and it was more utilitarian than anything. It probably led far below the ground and was used originally as a way for air to get down the, into the far mines below. Mm -hmm. Seeing as um... right now the hole going below has been walled off. And there's just a huge fireplace in the center. Mm -hmm. um, as Kubi saw nothing of inter that would interest her, she walks casually outside mm, and see what the day brings. And goes where? Um. Here's the map, Stalker. General, uh, general store. Okay, that's right next door. I know. But first, I guess. Um, yeah, the other guys. Let's go to Lika mm -hmm. right now. No, plantation. So, yeah, Lika, you arrive at the plantations. Where are they? The green lines here. Well, there, yes, but on the play map. On this map, they would be somewhere around this way. Alright. I take some grains. You take what? Uh, some wheat, basically. Oh, okay. You I pick I some steal. random plants. No, 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 no. I steal from the, the spice. Yeah. <laughs> there are some people working there. You can see a few farmers stand into the plants. That was not said before. Well, because you just straight up went for it. But you do manage to get a few. Leaves. Leaves. Yeah, of a spice plant. Okay, at least ten. So you can add them to your inventory or whatever. There doesn't seem to be anything that's piquing your interest per se. It just seems like uh, normal plantations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll decide uh, far above know. you, you can see the manor that the prefect lives in. Eh, I go to the south mine. Okay. Uh, Finn, you arrive yes, at the uh, manor. And give me a second. The manor is a large stone, two story building with a round tower on one side. Like the rest of the houses you saw in Salt Crack, it is in great condition and very sturdy, yet elegant, with rich ornaments carved in the stones around the windows and the large front double doors and seemingly brand new bright red roof tiles. Two men in breastplates are standing guard at the door leaning against their halberds. <laughs> One of them steps forward and you can see that he has a brown cloth eye patch over his right eye, square jaw covered in an even stubble that blends into his almost cleanly shaped head. It's that sort of a taggish person, that no neck gorilla kind of dude. Holt, who goes there? What's your business here? Delania stops dead in... <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
Jelania steps, uh, stops moving, smiles at the gods, and slowly answers, Whoa, whoa, boys, take it easy. I'm here about a job. I hear you guys are hiring. Well, it's true that the prefect has been looking for some caravan guards. Yeah, yeah suck, suck it. it. Head on in. Follow me. <laughs> well, thank you, boys. That was uh, that was really nice of you. In, in front, front of the office of the prefect. You can see two men standing there, waiting to be granted an, granted an addition. One of them is a young, half-elven adolescent, with reddish-brown hair in padded armor, shifting nervously and clutching a very crude spear and a wooden shield. Next to him is an older man in a worn-out chain shirt, with grey, receding hair and a broken nose, tapping on the head of a large, rusty mace on his side and staring intently at the door. On the other side of his belt, you can see a simple-looking so short sword, and in one of his hands, he is clutching a sweat-stained, wide-brimmed, fluffy hat. The half-elf turns to you. Ah, hello there. Are you also looking for some adventure? Delania steps forward, closer to the man speaking to her. With a seductive look in her eyes, see, she just smiles. How did you guess? <laughs> well, not much else the prefect is offering these days. Well, Plus, that... I have been living here my whole life. This is my first major venture into the world. Oh, well, aren't you just adorable? Well, anyway... He laughs nervously. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, interested, yes, in making some coin and... Uh... Let's just say the locals have not been interested in my services, my very particular kinds of services. So, <laughs> I understand that you might be needing some kind of um, more brutish force to uh, dispatch any kind of troublemakers. Is that what you're uh, offering me? Well, I don't know the details myself. You'll have to ask that to the prefect, but uh, yes, from what I heard, we are to escort a trading caravan. That sounds interesting enough, but uh, do I get to actually talk with the prefect, so I might just uh, stuck here standing with you? Uh, sure, any moment now, I'm sure. We've only been here for like, uh, the old man next to him turns uh, over 30 minutes, kid. Delania starts to tap her foot very nervously, very impatient. Step in her foot. She decides she is done with the chit chat and the talking and uses the rafters close to the ceiling to jump over the little guy with the shield and recede her way towards the prefect chambers. Oh. Okay. Uh, so you knock on the door or you just, or you just barge in? Uh, I'm just gonna barge in. Okay, um, as you do so, uh, you can see a man in front of you behind the table. It is Prefect Adrian, and he is a man in his 40s with a thin but dexterous figure, short black hair slightly grey on the sides, and a well-trimmed thin moustache. He dressed in very fine, expensive vinelet clothes with blue accents. He wears a white velvet glove on his right hand, and several large jeweled rings on his left hand. On his side hangs an ornate estoc in a dark leather sheet. The first thing you notice, though, is a strong floral scent of a perfume. He looks up. What's the meaning of this? Who let you inside? I let myself in. I've been longing to wait to you. I hear that you're offering, and I decided to let myself in and offer my services as your newly appointed caravan guard. <laughs> You'll see about that. <laughs> Might as well let the other two in. The other two men step in. Yeah. So this is it, those low lives. Yeah, well, I guess I cannot wait for a better band to show up. 
Though we so, could, though we could use some more men, three of you won't be, and especially of you, and he gives you a condescending look, <laughs> will be of no use against a band of orcs. So, you doubting my skills, is that it? Delania proceeds to take her both ceremonial daggers, prep them for a throw, and throws them both on the both sides of the... Uh, what's his name? Preset's head. Prefect. Prefect's head. That's his title, basically. And his yeah. name is Adrian. Adrian. So yeah, throws the uh, double daggers uh, in the bookshelf or wall behind uh, the Prefect. Uh, on the both sides of uh, his head, and asks, "Do you think I'm not capable of taking a few, taking on a few bandits on the road?" He doesn't flinch. In fact, you can see a smile creep on his face. <laughs> well, it seems you may have your uses after all. But if you ever do that again, you're dead. Now, no. let's talk business. Let's. How much normally, are you normally I wouldn't hire such a bad band of ragtag lowlifes, but I have no choice in this manner. Your job will be to guard my caravan and make sure it delivers all the goods to Galton. And once that is done, you will securely escort it back here. It leaves tomorrow at dawn. We'll be paid 100 gold each once you return, and everything goes as it should. If something happens to the caravan, or if the shipment isn't delivered, you won't get a single copper from me. That will be all you may leave. He turns around, looks away, and looks out the window, paying no further attention to you. Delania, without saying a word, walks to the desk behind the uh, presets, grabs her daggers, and turns to the Prefect, and with a smile on her face, asks, If I get two more on this little escapade of yours, will you pay me 40 extra? <laughs> 30. Yes, we have a deal. 35. Make, Make a persuasion a check. Shit, my persuasion is one fuck. <laughs> Okay, natural 20, I need it. I need that. Although that's not a roll. It, that yeah, it a is. Roll. That Fuck was it. a roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, fine, it 35 it is. Now go, oh. bring them here. Delania turns around, uh, turns to you, the uh, preset one more time, bows down and says, Yes, my lord and walks out with a rapid pace and a smile on her face. What about your daggers? As you... I d he I took them, them, he took them. Uh, as you pass the young half-elf, he turns to you, By the way, my name's Val, and this grumpy old man here is Menor. I guess we'll see you tomorrow at the caravan? Well, these the two guards in the... Yeah, uh, yeah. not the not guards, guard. the, the people waiting to be caravan guards as well. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Delania turns to the uh, men talking to him and looks with a dissenting look on her face and asks, You're the ones I'm supposed to protect the caravan with. You look like you're capable of nothing. Um, his smile kind of freezes. Uh, well... I I have no experience, but I'm eager. And, and the other one just looks at you. <laughs> the same could be said about you, lass. <laughs> Delania smiles. <laughs> <laughs> she walks up to the smiling man. And, uh... Hold on, two seconds. With an intimidating look on her face says to the guy, you do not want to see me angry. <laughs> he walks off. Oh, you bastard. Delania turns around with a semi-sad, angry face about him when he's, uh, when she's, wait, is, where are you? 
Where are you in the world? <laughs> Stop moving! Where are you actually? Like there. Uh, well, I was on my way to South Mines. Okay. But I see you there and I say hello there. Yeah, but you are not. You're, you're on the you can, ones. We can say that, as you can see on the map, the way to the manor is very close to the way to the salt mine, so you just meet kinda here. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, on the I'll crossroads. So, hello, oh, you follow her? Wait, so he is here? I'm confused, dude. Plus yeah. one. Uh, do you see the map here, mate? The, the other, other one. one. Yeah. Here. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. On oh, the crossroads. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. But, first, uh, Stalker. Yeah. Um, Sorry. You, went to, you arrive in the mm. shop. Um. Uh, you can see there a uh, middle-aged gnomish woman with blonde hair. She mm. looks up from her ledger. Uh, yes, can I help you? I wanna roll persuasion. Um, in, no, Four? No, um, perception? Yeah, perception. Okay, four. Uh, to check her, inv to, like quickly check the quality and of her inventory. Okay. Fuck. To the best you can ascertain, it seems like rather cheap and not really great quality stuff. Well, it wasn't for sure here. She said, uh, while looking disinterested in, in the general goods, and surprised that they're low quality, um, she turned to the woman and asked her... Excuse me, do you happen to know where the wounded are being brought in? Yeah. The wounded caravan, you saw them, didn't you? They should be in the house just south of here, the next one. Okay. Not through this entrance, but through the one that's on the southern side. Um, you can see that it's and... here. Oh, okay. Um... Basically, this is the caravan that arrived with the wounded, mm -hmm. and they are currently yeah, okay. held here. Thank you very much. She says as she... Uh, no problem, dear. Are you going to buy something? And she left. <laughs> 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 she, went, um, she made her way towards the direction that was described to her. Um, anything happens here or do I just get in? Uh, you can see that the wounded man, the one that had no arm, is uh, still on the carriage. It seems that he died on the way here. No other men are here, and you can see voices from the inside. You pass through a small vegetable garden and enter. Mm -hmm. You can see eight men, or eight people total, um, standing around the table. Some of them Laying in uh, makeshift beds on the corner. They look up at you as you enter. Um, perception roll. Okay, four. Um, to check their condition and to. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> That's a natural on. one. <laughs> okay, so perception failed. Um, yeah, as you enter, the sudden change in lightning, which switches to extremely dim, even with your dark vision, you're not really certain and have to take a moment to get uh, accustomed to the new lightning. Um, she asks them straight out uh, which of them, wh what are their conditions? Well, last, most of us are alright, but... Frederick here is badly wounded, and you can see one of the men that's laying on the bedroll. It was the one that was clutching his stomach and that was bleeding from it. He now seems to be unconscious. Sh Are you here to help? She over to him and replies to the dude who just said that. Uh, what does your friend have? Do you know? 
Uh, yes, a dagger in his stomach. Okay, well, I'm not a fucking doctor, so I have to ask. <laughs> um... Uh... She puts one hand surrounding the dagger. Well, what? he, he the, it's just a dagger wound. Oh, basically. the dagger is not there anymore. Well, it's yeah, yeah. a fucking dagger there, okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. You're, sh you're a shitty DM. I bet. Um... <laughs> Don't listen to him, you're great. The roof collapses and kills you. <laughs> no. Game over, I'm going Um. <laughs> so yeah, are you trying to heal him? Um... I'm actually... wait, I need to check this fucking thing. Give me a second, just a second. Okay. Uh, so he's not dead. He's just unconscious. He's not dead, he's unconscious. But like in HP sense, it, it's not zero. He's at zero. Yeah, that's zero. Oh, fuck. Wait then. But he's stable. He's not doing well. he's stable. He is oh, stable. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Um, she puts her uh, one of her left hand. Uh, so um, one of her left hands. No, no I was like, how many uh, I was like, ah, re. <laughs> okay, she puts her left yes, hand yes. ever so gently on his wound and uh, casts uh, the fuck. Yes, cure, cure wound? wounds. Okay. I need to roll, um. Uh, 1d8 plus my spell cast ability modifier. That's okay. the amount of HP gains. Well, let's see if I roll again a f okay, do zero. So. Um, what this? Technically, you cannot roll a zero. A uh, one is a minimum. What's, where is the eight thingy? Uh, they don't say anything. This one, I think. Yeah. Ah, well, you rolled for me. And you're only a knight. So your mm, spellcasting modifier? It's like 12 in total. Okay, so you see that the bleeding under the bandages completely stops and the wound seems to close. And it's... Oh, somebody's poking me on TS. Ignore. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, his wound seems to close. He does not regain consciousness, but you can see that he is stable now and will heal. A woman uh, uh, kneeling next to the man looks up. Uh, thank you, Lars, thank you. How can we repay you? We don't have much. But please take this, and he... And While I extend with... my hand to take whatever she is giving me with a big smile. She gives you three silver. Um, <laughs> it's piss poor. Yes, mate, those are piss poor people. Well, see. So yeah, add three yeah, silver to yeah, what yeah. you have. Seeing as there is no one in any critical, well, you just said that was like legit the only guy. Yeah, the only one in critical so condition. So she stand up and said, um, guess my work here is done. As she's slowly walks outside outside she saw the, okay. um, fuck i forgot the fucking names um you head south and you eventually the run orc into and tartago and Delani. i need to remember that and let me name. do this to yeah wait there curious about what's going on she figured out that it's better to tag along with the two strangers that know um, as much as her than sticking around here. Okay. You two see Can the tiefling approaching you. Um, do we, guys? Five minutes. It's a quickie. I think the other two guys are not even here. I am here. I've been waiting all my fucking life. Good. Sorry, yeah, mate, well, but it's yeah. hard when the party splits. Well, it's fine. Yeah, well, well, it's... yeah. yeah we're getting yeah. to it, but yeah. I mean, unless you guys want to do something that is not 
as important, then you can just do it in the meanwhile. Be right back. All right, so a break, right? Or uh, I mean, yeah, we can. I mean, unless he's really fucking into flavor texting. If Lika's here, Lika. Yeah. You're here, right? And you're not playing anything else, right? No. Bad Lika, bad Lika. Okay, so it's my turn. So do we? Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's. Do yeah, it's. Off. Yeah, you head to the manor, I assume, right? Yes. I get it, the girl. Okay. I say hello there. Well, hello, hello, if it isn't my green friend with a little turtle. Ah, uh, that's funny, I was actually just looking for you. This is quite Too a bad, and speak right now, I'm going to try to get the work, sorry. Delania throws her, one of her daggers straight uh, at the front of the orc, trying to move away from the conversation, and says, I said... I had something to talk to you about. I did not say you're free to go. My turtle jumped on my head out of less fear of missing dagger. What? And I turned to her and say... The turtle gets scared and jumps on his head. Oh, okay. Uh, speak then, for fuck's sake. Well, it just so happens that I've been employed by the town to gather up some sorry souls for a little expedition. And as soon as I saw you and your pathetic little turtle, I thought of you. So, up for a little trip around the roads with a caravan, with uh, you and your little turtle, escorting us. We'll even I'll even pay you 90 gold for it once the job's done. Sure, I'll be happy to go. I have only one slight request. If we could dispense with the fucking drums on the way there and during the turn, it would be great. Good night. <laughs> Delania takes her other dagger and throws it straight to the orc's drum set, splitting it and stucking the dagger at the bottom of it. One of the drums, uh, top part, bursts. In anger. I said, uh, no fucking drums. In anger. One of, I seen one of my drums, broken. And the height, make, from them being torn apart. Next tear in my eye appear. And I slam the cheek with the club into her head. Uh, I'll come back. Uh, okay, so <laughs> so wait, Lika wait. is attempting to murder the Lania. All right. Wait, wait. That was Quickly really explain nice what we, what is happening. Uh, <laughs> the Lania threw a dagger at Tartago's drum, which split. He flew into a fit of rage and is swinging at her head at the moment. Um. <laughs> Can I use a counter action or is it just do we have to go this turn by turn? No, no, wait, wait, I change Perf. my action, I change my action. Okay, what? Instead of dropping claps, I scream at her from my lungs all the way I can. The biggest stream I have ever gone out and said. How dare you? No, I scream, why? Intimidation check. A crossman, crossman, yeah, right. a crossman yeah. question. The thing is, I yes. gain is her spell level, right? Is the value of this? Oh, not uh, not you, Finn. Uh, sorry, no. I meant Lika to the, to make an intimidation. Okay, my intimi intimidation is plus six, and I have an E near it. Okay, so make a roll. Is it T twenty? Yeah. Oof. Oof. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Delania, you take a step back as the sudden loudness and smell, honestly, from the <laughs> orc's mouth just uh, almost blasts you back and you are taken aback by this completely and are a bit frightened. 
After, after witnessing the orc's raw power, Delania is for a moment dazed. After a small, small while, she starts to smile once more and starts walking to the angry and huffing orc. I'm, she, I'm on my knees crying over my dream. <laughs> Delania kneels to the orc, takes the turtle from its head and starts to pet it. And looks the orc in the Aww. eyes. Aww. I think we can come to an agreement. I'm sorry about your drums. How about a ten extra gold to replace your drum once the job's done? <laughs> and st takes her dagger out of the drum with an apologetic smile on her face. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. I, I wonder what type of smile that is, but fair enough. Yeah, it's good, yeah. It's a very, it's a very snaky uh, smile. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. it is very snaky. It's kind of demonic, but then again, it's a fucking orc. What, who's here to fucking bitch about looks? Yeah, you're a bunch of misfits, really. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what's the um, perception? Well, I still have... Uh, so oh, yes, yeah, you, meet up for Crossman. you meet up with the question. Yeah, just 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 before I end my turn, I uh, after the whole fact, I go over here, grab my other dagger, put it on my sheet, and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so you recruited me basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you if you. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Yes. My yeah. question. Yes. The thing is, I gain is it, I gain the amount of the spell level, right? Um, that's a good question. Let me double check that. Does it state uh, so? I anywhere? completely forgot. Did I download it? Wait, if I download it, I can't. You should download I it, think but I have it here. yes, uh, yes, it's equal to the spell level casted, so you have one. two charge points. Cure wounds is one, level one. Yeah. Oh yeah, two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one, 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 one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, okay. you meet up with uh, the no. others. Um, witnessing that whole fiasco, QB decided to walk over, telling them that there is nothing really anything of interest in this town for her, um, and asking them where they are heading, suggesting that she, if she could just tag along. Sorry, I was a uh, wanking. My character uh, basically <laughs> asked you niggas, "Hey, where are you going? Can I come with you?" Uh, Delania turns to the stranger on her left. Nigga, stranger, we know each uh, other niggas... from outside of the gate. Well, I don't know you. I just saw your fucking circus hat, man. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know who you are. Uh, she gives the turtle back to the orc. Placing it gently on top of the crying, now slowly smiling orc's head. <laughs> she stands up and turns to the uh, motherfucking weirdo he she he she met at the bar or the inn before. I'm sorry, what was that? You really going that way, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Koopy just repeated herself, a little bit irritated. Um, saying that again, there is nothing of value for her in this town, and she's curious where the two are heading. So, yeah, implying if she would just tag along. Delania smiles once again with a wicked smile on her lips. She quickly moves closely due to her natural speed and shit. Koopy makes a step she back. One Koopy of her... makes a step back. No, you can't because I'm so fast. I'm, I'm fucking lightning fast, man. I'm it's true. Uh, QB, you have fuck all dexterity, honestly. Uh, fair enough. So yeah, for yeah. this, I could say that, yeah, he manages to, or she manages to catch you off guard a bit in advance. She places one of her daggers on the throat of the thiefling and asks, with a more aggravated, psychotic look on her face, Why would I need you? Kubi places the ha uh, yeah. her hand on, on your hand where you grab the dagger. 
Uh, here we go. <laughs> Good oh, luck, yeah. Uh Well, he has to roll. Um, saying... Um... You too. Oh yeah, I have the initiative. Um, wait, I too. He needs to roll. I don't have to roll for shit. Uh, we are talking yes. about the thing, right? Okay. So, and. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, Finn, Wait, make an yet. insight check. Um, not yet? Okay. Uh, you will need. Uh, saying. You will need me. Oh god, can I do this? Uh, you will need me. Fuck! Mm -hmm. I I I need a bit. I Time's need a sticking. bit. This is hard for me. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? Wait. I will use oh, this. Oh, don't be an asshole. You're I an, am asshole. an asshole. You oh, have no, one no, minute. Okay. Oh, it's nice. Yes, I know. You have still one minute. Shut it the says fuck up. Minute. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> it's a going. I can't think on the pressure. The pressure. Time. And oh, it's fuck off. off. So as you start to mumble. Well, he still has to roll, but you know how it works. Uh, yes. Um, Finn make. A... What was it? Charisma saving throw. So you roll a d20 and add I your. Understood. Oh, 17 plus your charisma modifier. Uh, like, well, yeah, it says th my charisma is 13, and then it says plus one at the bottom to add. So plus one, one, so that's 18. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> whatever was, was attempted here, you managed to resist it. Wait, <coughs> um. I think that other thing will happen now, actually. It won't, Stalker, unless you cast it with it, did you? I cast it with what? Oh, yeah. Oh, what other yeah. thing? Yeah, nothing else happens. Uh, Stalker, actually, you get two yeah. charge points. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it's a. Uh, yeah. And. So, so yeah. yeah. That goes uh, spectacularly. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah. Fuck. Delani. Fuck. Oh, are you still uh, doing something? No, 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 he can't. No. Well, He's I'm done. done. I mean, you should just still ask me a question, sir. Yeah, but you're just standing there mumbling. Fair and enough. Things are not really that fucking Fair impressed. Enough. Okay. I say. Whoa, that was nice. Wanna join our band? Uh, <laughs> okay. Delania, Delania smiles, looks at the orc, and looks back at the thiefling. As she says, well, you're about as useless as the other guy, but I guess you make you cannon fodder. Say so what? I'll give you even 60 gold to die instead of me. How about that? Wait, did you say that to me? Yes. Uh, I still have that dagger in your throat, by the way. Well, not that I can deny it, uh, refuse it, so yeah, I just silently agree. Yes. She notes. She notes. She notes yeah. that smiles once more, steps back, and takes the dagger out of the thiefling's throat and places it back on its hilt. So, so. you guys are still on the on the crossroads, basically. 
Yeah. Where are you headed from there? Jelani Up to the manor, manor? To the prefect, or...? Well, we've kind of been there, I already negotiated everything. <laughs> uh, I kind of don't need to go there. I mean, By the I... way, it's about 10, 11 a.m. at this time, so the caravan leaves tomorrow at dawn. Okay. Cool. Just so you know how much time you have. Delanius looks at her newly formed weird mismatch of a party and silently asks, Well, what do you want to do while we wait for the caravan to leave? It leaves at dawn. Do you want to head to the inn and grab a few whales? Chat a little about how you both are shit? Oi, guys. That's uh, for you. Sorry, question. what? So, uh, I'm <laughs> mate, sorry, mate. I... What? What's going on? I wasn't, mate. I wasn't here. What do you want to do? Yeah, what? Yeah, I noticed. Well, if please say so next time when you go, if okay. Fair enough. Uh, what? Yeah, what's what? going on? <laughs> do you want? Do. Well, aren't yeah, we yes. just tag along to you. fucking caravan saving or escorting or whatever? Yeah, but yes, which you... is tomorrow morning. It's 11 a.m. this oh. time. Yeah, and I ask you if you want to go grab some ales and talk about how shit you both are. Hmm. Still frightening, <laughs> she agrees. Yeah, sure. Alright, so... Delania turns around, uh, starts heading to the inn and says, Oh, by the way, you're buying the first round. To who? To the tiefling. To right, right. QB. Well, yeah. laughing, she be. replies, if... Don't have any money. Uh, okay, as money. you make your way into the inn, on the doorway, you stumble into the dwarf that you saw previously oh, wait, sitting yeah, in the I corner. Have five silver. He seems. I forgot to fucking. Yes, end. you have. Three silver. You gave me three, three? silver. Okay. You cheap cunt. Yes. We set the spell on that. <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> so yes, you walk into the dwarf that was previously sitting in the corner. He seems to be. Mm, depressed or down on luck, like completely devastated, and he just kind of mumbles, "Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there." Oh, you look a little sad. Want some cheer up music? Did you just bang your table? <laughs> you simulate your drums, your broken <laughs> drums. Hey, uh, I guess it couldn't hurt. And he had inside with you. Oh, that was easy. Let's have his seats here, I guess. No, here. Shit. So, at this table? Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, there's enough room for you then. And, uh, let me see if I can find a dwarf among this. Yeah, good enough. The flying dwarf. Is, is he blind? He's not blind. He's just... Uh, yeah, he seems to be really worried about something. Is he on the <laughs> table? Uh, yeah, he sits down with you guys. Okay. Okay, ask him. Mm, you look... Little bit sad. Here, have my Shelly to cheer you up a little bit, and you can talk about what are you worried about. He uh, reluctantly takes the turtle. Uh, it's my brother. The fool said he won't listen to the cheapskate half elf foreman a day longer. Said that he was better off mining salt in the old mine on his own, and then brush shoulders with all the other miners down at the new mine for a few fucking dirty silvers a day. But I told him, Tobar, you'll get yourself killed, the old mine is beyond the walls. 
I just blamed him for a reason. But he didn't listen, nay. Told me I'll change my tone when he comes back with a cart full of salt. And sells it all directly to the caravans without the foreman getting his cheap cut. But he's been gone for two days now. And I'm very sick about him. But I can't go find him myself. What if I run into orcs or wolves? I can't fight for shite. So you seem capable enough. How about this? And he leans in on the table. You go to the mine and find out what happened to my brother. Save his sorry ass if you can, or bury him if it's too late. But in the second case, bring me something of his so I know you ain't bullshitting me. I don't have much, but I can give you a 60 gold for it. And this Irax, it's a family heirloom, but I have no use for it. He pulls an axe out from a hoop in his belt, it is visibly old. But well crafted steel headed axe, with dwarven runes carved into the wooden handle. Well, I don't speak dwarvish. Do you guys? I don't believe any of I you do. do. No. I... You do? If speak dwarven? If you want, do you want? Yes. So yes, you cast the spell. Let me see the cost. It's a uh, yeah, first level. It, uh... Wait. Yes. I ask him. Do you speak common? Yes. Yeah, speak, mate. You are all. Yeah, but the question is, if the, the dwarf, but what the dwarf. language was he speaking? Common. Oh, well, Otherwise, then I don't understand. need to cast it. Well, like we all understood it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, like he was ranting the whole time. I mean, I also thought it a little bit weird <laughs> because of the first well, encounter that we all just agreed that we understood him and you didn't yeah. say anything special about it, so... What, I mean, it's not like this is a yeah. pure dwarven village, uh, town. Yeah, so I was just not, assuming they all would speak Definitely. common, so... Yeah. Okay. They do. Good. Okay. Yeah. You could yeah. still try to cast a spell to understand the runes on the axe if you so Oh, I wouldn't it. need that spell though, but no, <laughs> don't really care. So yeah, he's offered you 60 gold and the axe if you find and either bury or uh, save his brother. I lean into the mm, others guys. and say, I'll, um, and say they're, um, well, if we can help his brother, then we should maybe try. Or we can just go with our way and show him something of his brother. We can maybe make up something. Surely he doesn't know what he bro his brother was wearing that day when he died. I assume you're uh, whispering <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and not just talking openly yeah. in front yeah. of him. Delani agrees. I, oh, hold on, I need to fucking write your guys' names in. This is fucking stupid, hold on. If you hover over their characters, you can see their names. I can? Oh, yeah, 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 you can. Oh, yeah, I probably should have a surname too. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Plus, well, Likas, Likas isn't a surname either, it's more of a. Clan claim. name. Yeah. Clan name, yeah. Anyway, uh, Delani uh, uh, turns to Tartigo and silently whispers in his ear, I, I agree with you. Why waste our time? Besides, we got the caravan ride waiting for us tomorrow. That's a major yeah. land of gold. We don't want to be up all night chasing some fucking orcs for this guy's dead brother. Let's just find something inavailable that reminds of him and uh, let's get some info out of him first let's see what kind of things he's probably used or whatever so we can replay okay, okay. so Delani I ask uh, the dwarf whose name she forgot because she was uh, I didn't introduce she... myself oh that's probably the names <laughs> yeah uh, well, the names Elric Ironel Eric. Okay. Delania asks the dwarf, what's your name? Elric Ironhelm. There we go. Role playing. Yes. <laughs> Delania says, yeah, sure. We got a little bit of time on our hands. We'll do it. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you. you. 
Delania walks out of the table with the others staying behind, says nothing to nobody, and heads to the back entrance of the bar outside. Okay. I ask the four of you who wants the one spice leaf. Um, no nah, thanks. You can keep I it. I lean into the dwarf and oh, ask yeah. him um, if he could help us identify uh, his brother in case. Yeah, actually, uh, shit. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm fucking stupid. I'm. I'm hold on. I'm fucking retarded. Okay, okay. He's yeah, saying the table. About, like, what the fuck? Do, why do, are you just bailing? <laughs> do, are you just bailing? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he could help us identify his brother just in case there are multiple people. Uh, what he was wearing, if he had anything special on him, yada yada yada. <sighs> well, his clothing was nothing special. He was a miner, as it's probably every dwarf in this bloody town. But he had a ring, a ring with our family crests, and he shows on the X the first room, the one. On the top next to the head. Okay. That's the one. It's on the ring. Oh, rings. Well, but when someone dies, that's the first thing man detoops of the body. Jewelry. Well. And everything else. In case there's enough left of him, my brother, he should look almost like me. And he points to himself. Um, well, he was almost my twin. And you can see that the dwarf um, has long brown hair tied in a knot behind and a scruffy beard tied into two separate knots. A large nose and mm, uh, like a huge furrowing brow. Okay. So you remember his appearance. Okay, I lean to the others and whisper, what if we bring him a braid of his beard? I will make some braids out of some horse hair, hair. or whatever we can, we can use. Hey, Shelly's here. Maybe it will be useful. I don't think a beard's gonna cut it. Yeah. We talked about a ring. I think that's yeah. the one thing he wants. We know. Did you guys save a rune? If we can replicate that, say you're on a blacksmith, maybe? We can make some easy money out of it. You do know from the innkeeper's description that there is a blacksmith here. On the southern end of the city. Just right above minus no, rest. We can't use anyone else. There's more witnesses. Maybe, but if he's friend with the blacksmith, we cannot risk that. Well then, I just casually I lean in, I lean in towards the I lean in and say, lean in. Sure, we, can, we will help find your brother or whatever remains of him. But, just in case... And bury him, sure. if you find his body. Um, <laughs> but, um, but whatever you're offering is not that much to go out of our way. So I have one suggestion. We will keep the ring as well after we show it to you as a proof. Oh. Yeah. I lean to the Shut the cube uh, and That's a bit rough. Yeah, the dude she maybe lost him. his fucking brother. Yeah. Fuck. Stalker, make a persuasion check with advantage because uh, he's so desperate at this moment. Persuasion, oh. persuasion, persuasion, persuasion. Do I have anything? Persuasion. Oh boy, he is fucked. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps. Come on, Next roll. Next one. <laughs> No, okay, plus six. Sixteen plus. Uh, uh, all right, sure, sure. Just okay. find me, brother. May I ask you something, dwarf? Aye, what is it? Why are you willing to give up so much just just to find the corpse of your brother? <laughs> he scoffs at you. This family mean nothing to you. Oh. Good thing, no, not really. and Good thing I wasn't there anymore, head. otherwise I don't know if I would do it. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Delania walks across the bar table to the dwarf. <laughs> 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 she 
she bends down and hugs the dwarf with a smile on her face once again and says, failingly, that, of course, we'll find your brother and set him to, <laughs> set him to rest if, if anything of him remains. Uh, while she does this, she actually uses sleight of hand to <laughs> reach in and attempt to grab the, <laughs> the dwarf's uh, purse. Alright, nice. Make a sleight of hand check. Alright, let's do a d20 here. Oh, just, if you fuck this up. I just let out a lot. 7 plus Oof. 3, so 10. Okay, so, um, as you try that, he shifts in such a way that you cannot really reach it. He doesn't notice it, but you do not manage to get anything from him. God damn it. Okay, we go out, I guess. Once the to uh, Tortego. Wait, okay. Tortego is the now? Wait, 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 <laughs> and, I asked, and I asked the group, so I'm, I'm confused. Um, I, I told Ortego to that I would need his help. Um. Sure. And go. Delania okay. reminds Delania reminds the people that they have a caravan ride waiting for them in the morning, and if they don't get any rest before that, we're gonna be yeah, fine. fine tomorrow. I'm... I'm still well, kind of intimidated the by you, so I just follow with your plan for now. Um, the dwarf didn't give us any deadline, so we have um, time. Going um, before we enter this, ch uh, yeah, she she leads the way. Before she goes into the store, she she tells Ortego um, uh, that she needs his help since she has no money to buy the cheapest. Yep. Uh, uh, the cheapest metal string that the blacksmith has. Even better if it would be scrap. That's not the blacksmith. That's the local. That's the local market. That's not a blacksmith. Matter. Oh, that's yeah, a always. general trader. Yes. Can they have rings? Yes, they do. Okay. Maybe they do. No, no, no. Let's go, go to ask. the blacksmith. I want. Okay. Sorry, I thought this was the blacksmith. Where is the blacksmith then? Yeah, me too. Oh, it's uh, hold on, hold on, fuck me. This one? Ah, uh, here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. This one? Ah, uh, here. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, go in, yeah, yeah. Lika. Yeah. The so, cheapest yeah. metal-based string or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Even if it's scrap. Hello there. You yeah. see, as you enter, a human male with a cloth bandana on his head, who's uh, hammering away at a piece of metal. It seems to be the head of a pickaxe. He doesn't even notice you as you enter. Okay, I go up into the door frame and say, Hey, Delania, the dude is a man. Maybe you can use your weapons against him. Mate, we are. We need trash. Why? Delania. <laughs> Fair enough. So, Delania, Delania f smiles at the orc and says, well, I do find your way of thinking attractive, I'll say that at least, and turns to the group and asks, so just remind me once more, what the hell are we doing here? Are we trying to replicate that ring, or what's the plan? Because we I need a bit of the plot uh, we, need we need a bit know. of fucking metal, or m like a metal string. Something to sort of recreate a, an, um, a ring, but it can be like out of trash, it doesn't matter. Can you make what? one? No, I need the material. Need the I need basically something oh, I... in ring shape. But it can be trash. It can oh, be right trash. Then. Doesn't matter. So, so, so Tati, you go. You paying it? I did not plan that. That's why I call you. Oh, for the fuck's sake, with the two of you. That's it. Uh, well. I'm taking an extra five, actually ten gold out of your bags for this. I'm paying. Let's get in. Okay. You may have not to pay. I scream at her. So you all enter? Yeah, I, at least I think so. Do fucking cool. Yeah, me. yeah, fair enough. Enter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Delania marches behind the blacksmith and angrily shouts to the man. Cunt. Oi! Buddy, you got customers over here. He <laughs> fucking jumps. As he didn't notice you creep up behind him, he turns. What are you sneaking around here for? What do you want? Well, the thing is, we kind of need something in the shape of a ring. Do you got any kind of scrap metal or anything kind of that cheap? Fake rings or anything? No replicants or anything like that? Fake rings? What What are you doing here? We want Why would I give a, you that? We would want to make no, our the, own signal. Yeah, I nice. softly hit her from the side, whispering to her, it's not like he does need to know our plans. I'm not, I whisper back, I'm not telling him that this blinds, but if you want to go the, that way, then you do the fucking thing. He shall, oi, you're talking uh, to me. I assume the conversation and tell him, uh, dear sir, um, I'm looking for... I come in <laughs> behind the chick with my intimidation to do our bidding for the fucking... Oh, like what do you want to do? How? To I fucking look at him with my fucking clubs and my fucking smile. And, and um, very badly. Make an intimidation check. Okay. Thirteen plus six and E. <laughs> GG. He does give you a sort of a cautious look and he now turns fully towards you as previously he was facing the anvil. Alright, I'm listening. Do what this pale skinned female tells you. Which one of the <laughs> Well, that depends on how much cash she has and as a DM note, Stalker, you're not pale. Hey. You're bronze skinned. <laughs> Delania smiles and looks down on the ground at the blacksmith's shoes and slowly raises her gaze to meet his eyes, takes out her daggers. Once again to her side, and says to the blacksmith, Well, I can let you live, if that's enough coin for you. <laughs> he gives you a curious maniac, look and maniac, says, He was already <laughs> You do realize, the next house over is the fucking guard barracks. You do Which realize, here. we are in the same house. And I also, don't see do any guards here. Do you realize that before you could even utter one word, I'd already slit your throat? <laughs> Make an intimidation check as well. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god! I, I, instead of <laughs> rescuing a dude, we're going to kill a blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 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 Ooh, that Doesn't bias. she have my support uh, or something? Plus three, that's five, that's still shit, shit. Uh. He says, get out now, before I reconsider. <laughs> uh, QP just leaves. <laughs> Fuck it up, boys and girls. Hmm. Do you piss off or stay? Yeah. <sighs> oh shit, okay, me. yeah, yeah, um, oh, no, we have to bail, otherwise you call it the fucking guard. No, we don't have to bail, we can pay him. Mate. He does not seem to be interested you in any sort of deal right now. <laughs> Maybe we should well, punch yeah. him. Can I kill him though? You can try is anything. It, is it in your character yeah. though? It, it is, is it is kinda. But I remind you what I said at the start, you guys are not suited for combat. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I remind you again, that you are one house away from a guardhouse. Okay. Which could hear a commotion. But you could still do it if you want. Or Delani attempt. once again, a fucking frown face, face leaves the fucking anvil and leaves the blacksmith alone with a disappointed look on her face because she failed one fucking moment. I'm doing really crap on the intimidation. <laughs> I, I look I look at the blacksmith and tell him, Well that was rude and leave. 
Um, I turn off. towards Tortego as he uh, walks over to us, uh, telling him, well, plan B it is, and ask him for the spice leaves. Mm. Okay. okay, I get 10 of them, uh, how, many, how much do you want? Uh, Crossman, how like big are the leaves, generally speaking? Uh, they are like oval or arrow shape. Wait, let me draw them actually. No, I kinda just wanna know how big. Not the shape. Fuck it. They're like that. The this shape and they are about palm sized. Palm -sized. Uh... Like from the from the tip of your fingers okay, to the bottom um... of your palm. I tell Tartago I need around two, and he, with his strength, uh, needs to fold them in a tiny, in a compressed uh, st string, and give it to me. Sure, I did it and gave it to her. Okay. Um, okay. Carefully. Not all necessary as they are fucking no, leaves. It's not, no, it's not hard bending, bend. he's mm, compressing yeah, yeah. it, basically. Um, so you're making like a ring shaped. Mm, yeah, I basically them, then um, grab one of the of the of the points and um, wirble it around my finger. Applying more pressure to it until it gains the form of a ring. Okay. With the, um, with some, uh, um, then I asked Tartego for one more leaf, which he will give it to me. Yeah, I rip, sure, fuck I rip the leaf apart more, in tiny, anyway. smaller strings to tie the bigger ring-shaped one so it doesn't leave its form as best as I can manage with a fucking leaf. Okay. Don't you want some hair from the turtle? <laughs> I laugh and say no, thank you. Um... <laughs> how, how about the string from no, the No, no, it's fine, it's fine, should, should be good. Um... Okay, this will be hard now. Um... Okay, I can do it. Um... Telling the... Um telling the both of them that they should leave this up to me um since since both of them are not really suited for human interaction um and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and that I will be sh shortly back with word. the money uh, so I'm now he over here. I roll a... I'm just gonna say that about 30 minutes passed since you left the town. What does that okay. mean? That, that means that 30 minutes passed since yeah, you left the town. Yeah, we couldn't find oh, any 30 we? minutes. I mean, maybe... I don't know. It could... it would be... The... I don't I know. Don't know. Kind of yeah, kind of it's like I don't know how far away the fucking there. mine is. How far away is the mine? It's about roughly. Yeah, but like. It's here on the map, and that's about an hour to forty-five minutes of um... the Yeah, in that case, I'm coming back, telling hmm, not enough time has probably passed. Uh, we will do it tomorrow morning, shortly before uh, we going for the carriage mission thingy support. Sounds to good to me, but where we gonna spend the night? We can't go back to the inn. The fucking dwarves they're waiting. Isn't it morning right now? It's almost noon. It's like eleven forty-five. Okay, you guys wanna check out the mine anyway? Maybe we will even find his brother. I mean, it's the only interesting thing in this town left. Mm. 
I mean, any any suggestions? Maybe we can train. Actually, yeah. Uh, I mean, I still want to save him. Uh, could be agree hardly um not hardly, eagerly agrees with Tartago. Well, maybe. Hmm, so you will head to the mine. Well, Delan maybe. Delani and nods her, nods her head in silent approval and says, "Well, there ain't much doing in this town, anyways, and we might as well go get the real thing while we're at it. But actually, find something interesting down there." Okay, so give me a moment. I look at the QB and say, "I give I her the, the fucking rip, <laughs> torn apart, Mangled and by smashed QB. leaves back." Yeah. I say thank you. I say you're welcome. What's happening? The world is ending. Oh. Yeah. yeah. GG. That's how armor get. Oof. So, now I will kinda need you guys to blindfold yourself. Done. So, let me take the characters. Because my man did us so much Edge. to get into the mine. <laughs> and we're finally there. 